everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we're going to jump straight into a battle today, right after I show you the fact that we got the second dire wolf up and running here. Let's have a quick look at her. Um, the night gear I'm saving for the uh, the um, arrow mech, but this one here, I took off one of the rotary um, AP large bores, uh, just because it was six tons. I wanted to get a few other weapons on there. Uh, we put a medium X pulse in each arm, so this mech is designed for a little closer range. I don't really have the ability to um, extend the range of these, unfortunately. The pilot would give us plus 10% range, so we'll have a little bit of a bonus. Now these rotaries are, are not particularly nasty with the amount of recoils, but I want to try them out. We're going to try them out today. I, was able, I did have one upper recoil that I dropped on the arm here. Uh, I can't use the... Um, the arm mounts on these things because I don't have a lower arm to put them on unfortunately so we're just kind of going with best we can with this I don't have lower arms either like no lower omnipod arms for these guys either so yeah I, I can't um, I can't give them a pl arms plus one to hit but these rotaries I'm hoping will do well the medium X pulses are relatively accurate they are relatively short range though so we'll have to get close to use them but we do have the heavy goss on the shoulder with plenty of ammo we got 18 tons of ammo or 18 rounds of ammo uh, we got four tons but uh, 18 um, 18 rounds uh, I included more because if we lose some of the ammo it's gonna be a problem so I put split up the the uh, the single tons, uh, four rounds in each leg, and then we put the 10 rounds in the torso here. Uh, Prototype double heatsink kit. Um, we may switch this out eventually, depending on what this guy ends up being, but we needed to do that in order to get our heat sinking relatively good now. It's 7761, that's if both X pulses fire. If they don't fire, then we're running cool until the end of the match. Uh, we put the turret mount in this, R, or this uh, torso here to really help the heavy goss out. And I left the fire control system hanging, obviously, because we want the bonus damage, bonus chance to hit, minus, re minus recoil on it. But I put tracker sensors in, um, and it, it seems weird to put it in on a relatively closer range mech, but I want this thing to hit at max range as we're approaching. Uh, plus, we're not going to be right up on top of other mechs, so we'll be firing at long ranges with these uh, most of the time anyway, so this will give us more of a chance to hit. Um, I thought we'd try that out, see how that worked. And we, of course, have a slick suite in here. I didn't really have any other cockpit to go with, but uh, we included the slick suite. And we've got a double plus exchanger here in the center to mitigate the heat off the X pulses. So, yeah, that's how it is right now. Um, so we're going to drop this guy in today, see how we do. Uh, I'm not sure how fast this is going to be, but um, we'll see how it goes. I may have to switch things around. Maybe we pull. Maybe we leave the big Goss rifle in and pull the rotary gosses off of the arms and change them out for something else. Um, if I could find regular clan goss rifles, I might do that. Or, I don't know, maybe we just load it down with some large pulses and stuff and, and um, large and medium pulses and use it as a forward tanky mech um, that can fire at medium to close range. But I'm not really sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Um, so let's just get right into something. I know what we're going to do here today. So we're going to take tamper proof. It's a uh, attacking a wolf research facility uh, recovery mission. So we're just going to negotiate this and go full salvage because we want the salvage, of course. Looking for clan Goss rifles. So we're going to put this Goss or this uh, dire wolf in the hands of Dallas today because her um, uh, uh, Orion is not uh, back yet. So we'll bring the Zeus in. Come on, Zeus. There we go. And this guy is the... AMS mech, correct? Yes. Okay, so uh, Hellion, Gundal, Mastodon, and Workhorse. We're going to put this where we had it last time. Mastodon, we're going to leave you with the Archer. And I think we're going to go with the same Grand Summoner this time. Two larges, two mediums. Spawliner Barrage, I think, is probably the best way to go. I might amalgamate the two builds between these two together. Um, and try and work on getting one really good mech out of the two of these guys. Um, I mean, we've got the uh, battle computer in this one. It might be better if we just move some of this stuff into the other mech. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes, but let's just deploy. Okay, at least we got a little bit of cover here. I think we're going to need that. We're probably going to be up against 20 mechs here. Oh, we got a guy we can see already. Yeah, there, there's the two evac points on this side. I don't know, it doesn't matter, we're not evacing. Why is this guy so close? Lovely landscape here. Simply lovely. 
Well, I'm glad somebody likes it. Cascatel, huh? Well, nice that he can spot us right at the top. Thunder rocket packs, medium lasers. Oh, wonderful. Isn't that just beautiful, guys? Yes, Commander. And what's our chance to hit, do you think? That's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be closer to nothing. Um, they got two support lances and two regular lances most likely there. Um, so 20. Yeah. I think we try and take this guy early. No idea if we're hitting, but... I'm sure we hit a little bit. Copy that. Got to be aware of our positioning for sure on this one. Uh, you have to move first. So let's put you into here. I don't want to get too close, not to start anyway. Wow. Okay, well, you're not firing. You are not firing. It's a waste of like, it's a waste of 70 rounds of ammo we might need later on. Yeah, we did a little bit of damage. Let's hope our dire wolves can get on, on point with this. Okay, uh, Goofy. It's indirect, huh? What are we looking at? 9.2 indirect isn't too bad, but I think we want to go... I'm going to move you to here. I understand. Do you? Do you fully? We could go with just a barrage. I think we do that early. Let's see what... We, oh man, I don't know. The ATM's got such a good chance to hit. We can wait for... Uh, we can wait for Gundal for the barrage. If we don't kill on this, <clears throat> we got a barrage that can probably take it down. Um, Thirteen percent with HE is not bad. That's warlorded earlier. Fifteen percent. That's fire. We're not going to get the kill, but we'll soften them up. So hopefully the uh, I don't even know if we got the tag on. Ready for order. All right, buddy. Now you know what you need to do. Can you... Not the best positioning. Not the best positioning. Let's give it a shot. Move over here. I thought we could get closer. So, let's target the ground. Dangerously close to us, but... How close can we get to him? Oh, that's pretty darn close to him. Right there, I think. Target confirmed. Okay, he took some damage. Turret's seriously damaged. Okay. I'm listening. You're facing the wrong way. I don't want to step too far this way. Let's just do this. Moving. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Gonna leave the rack off. I don't want to waste rack ammo on this guy, but I will fire the rest. Maybe we get lucky. Nope. It's all gonna come down to infiltrator, I think. Are we ever gonna get the ability to shoot at him? We are. Alright, we'll be in the open, but that's fine. That's fine. Wow. Let's give him a light show. Well, we'll get the chance to use those gosses in a second. The rapple board rotary goss <laughs> rifles. I don't even know how to pronounce the damn thing. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Was that the cascatel? It may have been. I would be very happy if it was. I don't think it was. We fire these though? I think so. I 
No luck, eh? Stop it with that. Dallas goes on 16, so he's going... Ah, uh, God, really? So close to killing the damn thing. He's going to fire off all his rockets now. And then I'll have to do a wrap while we wait. Oh, I forgot to put it on overload. AMS Mark II. Good job, though. Let's see how many rockets this thing fires. We might be able to absorb most of them. I think they're AOE minefield rockets, though. Could be a problem. Could be a problem. So as I was loading into the match today, or loading into... Ow. Ow. Stop. As I was loading into... Um, that's pretty oh, that's pretty lousy hits. Um, to uh, Battletech today, um, I was watching uh, the Carol Burnett show, one of the outtakes from the Carol, not outtakes, but one of the uh, clips from the Carol Burnett show on U YouTube. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Carol Burnett show. You might be too young to remember it, but it was a live, it was a comedy show done live with Carol Burnett, Tim Conway, um, uh, Harvey Corman, and Vicki Lawrence. They had guests on every once in a while too. But uh, there's one skit that if you ever get a chance to watch it on YouTube, it's Tim Conway's elephant story. And oh my God, the, it's hilarious. If you get a chance also to watch some of the behind the scenes bits of it with Vicki Lawrence, where she talks about, like watch the elephant skit first because it's hilarious. But then when Vicki Lawrence is talking about it, she's like going on about how Tim Conway changed the elephant story between rehearsal and live live uh, um, capture and it was just like no one was prepared prepared for his story so they just all broke up laughing but look Vic, uh, Vicky Lawrence ended up being the champion in the end on that though it's funny it's just funny 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 and to think it was all done live too like that's the thing I like about a lot of those older comedy shows it's all live right so the actors are like breaking up, you know, you just, you try and stay with like not laughing, but sometimes it's just not possible, right? So, yeah. All right, so at least we know we're fast. This looks like a Grand Summoner back here. Yeah, it is. This carrier is going to die next turn. Cascatel hopefully he doesn't shoot and run. Uh, someone's got an ATM build. Don't mind them shooting at the night gear. What's this, another carrier? Clan hybrid carrier, ATM LRM. Oh, that's interesting. Waiting for orders. Can you get those Rappelborger, whatever the hell are they are up here? At least you get the chance to use your X pulses today. It wouldn't have been so good on the other way, on the other day, but today? Today is a different story. Get that stealth thing up here. Should we just give this guy the enjoyment of a heavy Gauss rifle? I'm going to leave these off. Uh, I want to see how they fire, but not on this guy, because I think the Heavy Goss is probably going to do the job on him for 180 damage. <laughs> Plus a couple of x pulses should be more than enough. Did you miss with the Heavy Goss? You, you, at 87%, you miss with the Heavy Goss. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, this guy's probably got a, a load of crap in his pants at this moment, but still, you missed. Well, we'll be able to kill him next turn. It's just sad that we have to shoot at him again, damn it. Alright, we gotta get that second AMS changed over to overload. Oh, another dire wolf. Oh crap, we gotta spread out. Who the hell shot that? an arrow boat back here somewhere. Yeah. Alright, let's fan out, everybody. Yeah, stop complaining. It is not. My god, melting off. I'll show you melting off. I'll put my foot in your ass. Your armor's melting off. I'll show you melting. All right, let's. We, I need you to get rid of this guy for me, please. Oh my God! You hit with everything, and you still couldn't kill him. 
Gee, well, yeah, let's hit both sides because that's how you... Dude, the turret, the turret. We got two dire wolves back here. We got a lone wolf. That's what we have. And is it a regular one? Dire wolf A. Exterminator, that's not so bad. Mars Assault could be problematic. And a dire star. Oh, fuck. Really? Good to go. Your job is this fucking carrier. Make sure you stay in the trees. The in the trees. This guy's all yours. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Not enough, eh? Solid connection on that one. Yeah, but still not enough. All right, we need to get our uh, we need to get our heavy goss on that dire star. What's this guy? Come on, give me the map. Thank you. Oh, that's an exterminator. What was this guy back here? Mad dog, okay. Uh, who do I want in that chopper? Standing by. Workhorse, probably. How far can you jump? That's pretty damn good friggin' jump. Jump into the trees though. Copy that. You're gonna be unstable and there's not a damn thing I can do about it. Let's hope we shred this guy. I'm gonna overheat, eh? Leave one medium one of the medium lasers off. Fire the rest, let's kill them hopefully. Perfect. Thank you. I had no idea because I was just staring at the smoke. The smoke was making interesting patterns. I really didn't care what you were doing. <laughs> Reminds me of the beef video. He ends up dying and then goes on a... Uh, um, he starts using the camera to go around and check out, checking out other players and see what they're doing. He's like, there's nothing worse than dying and finding out one of your teammates is standing back here watching birds. <laughs> That's what he was doing. He was watching birds. Oh. Anyway. That's going to be a... We need to save as much armor as we, as we can on this, I think. Um, I got to save the HE for the max, I think. He's going down. God, not enough. Someone's got a serious uh, AMS back there. I forgot to change my AMSs around too. I did. How far can we jump? Jumping into a minefield anyway. Uh, Full throttle. All right, that's pretty darn good. What's he got in the side? 188. If we get everything on the side, we might be able to kill him. What do we got in this guy? The lone wolf. Eh. Highlander 2C. Carrier. He's almost done for. I'm going to leave him for a missile mech, I think. I think this is the gar our target. Hopefully we could get everything on this guy. I'm going to leave the tag on. Hopefully we get it. Oh, he missed the tag. Waiting for orders. Doesn't matter what we do. We're going into a minefield. Get back here. I know it's minefield and flames, but we'll deal with it. We're just shooting at the carrier, turn out the ER. Uh, one of the 20s, maybe? Yeah, that's enough. 
I'm going to Warlord this. I want to try and make sure we get this guy out of here. Okay, serious damage, but not enough to kill. I don't want to give the Dire Star an immediate line of sight. I want him to move in to see us. Uh, what do we got on this guy? 36 with the rack. 17 with the rack. Got some serious ECM. Let's try something here. Um, let's try this. Yeah, man. It is not. Oh, my kids and my wife are laughing. All right, that's some good damage on this guy. I have no idea where it hit, though. These guys are definitely pushing us. Well, we just have to push back, I guess. So we still got Dallas left. Who else is left? Um, don't know. Might just be Dallas. If we can get a line on the beef, we're taking it. If we can't, we're going to try and kill this Mars vehicle, I think. It's a lot of missiles. Wow, that's a pretty good spread for pulse laser. It looks like it hit three different mechs. I hope that heavy Goss has got a good chance to hit. I love the fact that it's 180 damage and we've got lots of ammo for it. It's like I'm not afraid to use it now. It's just, just like fired on everything. Okay, Long Wolf's moving in. He can't really do too much until he gets those rotary gosses in close, so he's just going to advance and, and uh, sit tight. We're going to have the same problem with ours. Now, he's I know he's got a uh, uh, stealth system involved too, so it's going to be harder to hit him. But if he's moving that slow, I'm not too worried about it. I'm more worried about the quicker moving mechs. He, great Grand Summoner didn't move. I'm more worried about their fast moving mechs uh, and the uh, obviously the Dire Star. That's really got to die. If we can get a shot at this guy, great. If we can't, oh, he's moving in. Beautiful. Is he going to fire though? That's the question. Nope, he's not. That's good news for us. I don't know whether he's just got a really lousy chance to hit and doesn't want to overheat or what. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, Dallas. Finally. We don't have jump jets on this thing. It's still a work in progress. What's this guy? Oro heavy tank. Can we get a? Sh we can't get a shot in the beef, can we? We cannot. We can't even see the Mars vehicle. Um. I want you going faster next turn. So we're gonna do that. We've only got one thing we can shoot at this, the Heavy Goss. Let's see if we can claim this vehicle. I'm not going to uh, Warlord it. We're going to wait till we have a better chance. Roger. 99 damage. That's not bad. Strip that front armor off. Another Cascatel. It ain't so swell. 
now that I gotta wait for this cascatel. It's forcing me to wrap, and my wraps are crap. So now I gotta think of something to say, which may not be okay. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I hope I'm entertaining you. <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry, I apologize for swearing, but oh my god. What rhymes with God? Pod. I need a couple lower arm pods. Hanging in there. Thanks. You hang in there. We're getting to a point where we can shred some guys, so... Ah, oh, that beef's gotta die. And let's see if we can get this carrier next turn. Got a dire wolf moving in. If we can shred the carrier, which is the, got the ATMs, the Mars vehicle is switching sides. I don't know where their aero vehicle is. Uh, he's way back over on that other side. I know we're still close together. That was a bad one. That was Not that bad. Is that him right here? No, cast the cascatel. It's back here. He's going to be hitting us the whole battle. Yeah, I know. You got armor. Just fucking stop complaining. Just stop it, please. We're fighting for our lives here. Don't just, just don't complain. Just making it a thousand times worse. God, really? Wow, thanks for the 12 points. Appreciate it. Well, hopefully we know that they've got like lower <laughs> that they've got lower um, to hit chances. I gotta see if I can get somebody close with an ECCM. Uh... No idea what the chance the hit's going to be. I copy. But we got to do it. 59%. I am definitely not going to say no to that. That's pretty good. We're going to Warlord it. Uh, these things are notorious for having almost no armor. 480 armor. Beautiful. Time to shred, guys. Time to shred. Can't get a direct line of sight on the beef, but that's fine. We're just going to walk it over here. Get our stability back. Drop these on them. On. Not much. Their AMS is really chewing through us. But the bonus is, is that we're also chewing through all their ammunition. So in later stages of the game, they should have no ammo left. Or on the other hand, we'll have lots of ammo left. You know what I'm saying? 80 tons for the Phoenix Hawk 2C, man. Rifleman 2C, A. So probably Ultra 2s or something? That one tagged me good. Oh! My god, stop complaining. Just be happy you've lived a good life up until this point. Alright, that's all I gotta say. I need to get stable. In more ways than one, you know what I'm saying? Awaiting order. Who can we put some ATMs on? Oh, we can get a good line of sight on the beef. I know we're bunching up again, but right now we don't really have too much of a choice. Uh, we're going to switch these out to HE. I know a lot of them might get shot down. Leaving the barrage off for now. Wow, that was terrible. But we got the tag on. That hit something. Yes, Commander. 
Can you see the beef? What's your... Oh, you got lots of stability. Can we walk there? No, but we can walk here and still see the beef. I don't mind you moving in closer either because... Uh, wow. We, we got to do it. Now, do we... That's the number of shots, eh? 5, 10, 15, 20 rounds each? You think? Sure! Well, I guess it's a lot like using LRMs. Just with way higher recoil. It would seem, anyway. It might shred more when it's in closer. Yeah, we gotta take this guy out. We're not gonna do it this turn for sure. Yeah, but still not enough to knock his ass over. We gotta get Workhorse up here, man. He's going on 16 this turn, which is kind of lousy. We kind of outstretched our AMS here. Reporting minimal damage. Damage minimal. I have to walk. It's a really bad place to be. I have no idea what the chances to hit here are going to be. They still got the arrow. That's the thing I'm worried about, right? Could move here and just go after that Oro. Or the Mars, I mean. We're not getting the beef this turn. Uh, so what do you got here? Oh my god, really? Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Well, it was a good hit. Maybe Workhorse can finish it up. Doesn't look like it. Oh, it's got nothing left there. Alright. Workhorse can finish the Mars up. That's a lot of IATMs in there. Ultra 10. Gauss Rifle HA-30. I sold... I, I had a couple of HAs. I, I hyper assault uh, gauss rifles. I sold them because I figured we were never going to use them. I think we were planning on putting them on the exterminator. We were planning on putting them on something. I can't remember what it was. Um, but we never we never ended up doing it. I think it's because we didn't really have a lot of ammo for it. But we might want to. That might be another option for the uh, dire star rather than those um, the hyper velocity or the whatever, the rotary gauss rifle in the arms. Maybe we put a hyper velocity in instead. Yeah, our ATM is still back behind everybody here. Or AMS, that is. So hopefully the AMS can move forward. Workhorse can move forward. Finish up that Mars vehicle. Then we'll be up three kills. There's still going to be at least two to one odds on us for sure. But we should be able to pull, now the carrier's moved, we should be able to pull the beef and the carrier down next turn. Because my dire wolf has got, we're at good range here now. This guy's going to move up into here. 
target the beef, hopefully kill him. We'll get this guy to target the carrier. Finally, we can get Workhorse to move up. Moving into the trees here. Let's get into here. Get our stability back. And let's switch our AMS to overload on the second one. We're going to leave it regular on the first one for now. Uh, we're going to put some damage on the side of this guy. Hopefully take him out. Probably not, but with 25%, it's pretty darn low. Oh, we got him. Beautiful. Take it back. One more for the trash. Nice. Okay, so that's the left flank cleaned up. We're moving in echelon. We're going to move up this way. Fire across. Yeah, he's using the ECCM because they're going to drop the arrows on us in a second. Cascatel should probably die at some point, but we got more important things to fry. This guy, is the, the lone wolf will probably be the one that we go after after we take the carrier and the beef. Depending. Maybe this guy. I don't know. This guy's nicely in the open here. He's like like trying to get close to be able to attack. Hopefully he's got all close range weapons. Because we should be able to stay away from him and just kill him from a distance. I'm hoping to get a large Goss hit on this guy. Here comes the arrows. Yeah. We're going to have to deal with that till the end of the fight, I think. Yeah. Going to be dealing with that till the end of the fight. Now, do you take the carrier or do you take beef? I think the carrier is the one that's got all the AMS on it. Laser AMS. Two arrows, two ATM. Well, let's just finish this guy up if we can. I'm going to leave these. Oh, I'm going to leave them on. We miss with both. Beautiful. Less we have to worry about. Less we have to worry about. Okay, exterminator's decided to show himself. Rotary's down, huh? Doesn't mean you can't... Oh, the beef is partially obscured now. How's your armor doing? You're still pretty good. Although I don't want to get that close. Well, we have to. Doing it. That was a critical hit. Nice. I know it's flames on the way, but we'll deal with that. All right, we got to shoot at whoever's the easiest target over there. That's the lone wolf. Because I'm going to put the barrage on. I'm going to leave both of these LRMs off. Um, 74. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Dire Star is really bad. That guy's too far. Probably you, I think. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include the barrage on this. Let's hope we get it. Where did it hit? Uh, too far back. Oh well. Well, we had to take the shot at it. I was hoping to apply damage across the board here, but not much we can do. At least with instability, this guy might not shoot this turn. It's a lot of armor. Buster now. Oof. I think we're going to save you. Going to save you for uh, Infiltrator, most likely. You need to get up here, please. Actually, can you get a shot in the beef? You can. Would it be a kill, though? That's the question. 
LRM 70, I don't think is enough for a kill shot. He's only taking two damage per LRM. Although those are really good chances to hit. I don't think we can say no to that. If we can strip his arms. I take, I eat my words. That's a kill. That is a kill, you beef killer. Warhawk at the back. Okay, now I don't need to kill the, kill the beef. I can focus on somebody else. How's my stability? Pretty good. So we're going to sprint it, I think. A little further forward. To where, though? Like, I got nowhere to go here. What the hell? We could try a back shot in that Highlander. Um, I got to be, like, in the worst place to be. Well, you know me. I'm always good at being in bad spots. Oh, this guy could be... LBX-20, Gauss Rifle, Clan. I wish I knew where that was. We could pull this guy's leg off, maybe. Two LRM-20s. Is that not... Is that not too, too bad? That's the Exterminator. He really needs to get close to be effective. His Mark II is out of ammo. That's the Highlander 2C. Not so great. Rifleman. I think it's this guy. Um, gonna use a bit of our our uh, resolve here and go after this guy's leg, I think. There it goes. Enemy mech. Critical damage. So we shouldn't have to worry about this guy too much this turn. We might be able to strip that other leg and we'll be one mech ahead of where I thought we would be this turn. We've still got, who do we have left? we got Dallas left, which is great. She might she got, might be able to pull that leg in one turn. Workhorse needs to get up here with the AMS. I'm going to sprint him this turn and get him up in here if I can. I know we're grouping up and the arrows are having a field day, but we have to stay together as a group, I think. If we really begin to spread out, it could be a, a major issue. Ow. That's Rack 5s or Ultra 5s, one of the two. I might fall this turn. Armor yeah, that's a big problem. Not much armor left in that location. That's a big problem. It's not going to be worth the trade-off. Although if I go down, I, I hate to say this, I don't know if they can take me down in one turn if I'm on the ground. Flames on the way. Can we avoid the flames in any way? I can't jump them. Doesn't matter where we go, I guess we're getting flames, huh? Alright, here it is then. Not that it matters. I mean, this thing is so heat efficient. Okay, let's see if we can pull the leg off this guy. Um, I think these guys, one of these guys comes off. I want the pinpoint damage, right? This thing is just going to spread it everywhere. Uh, I'm going to leave them both off because I want to be heat effective next turn. So let's do that and keep our fingers crossed. Okay, where do we hit though? Did we get the leg? I have no idea. We did hit it though. Well, we, we hit the mech that is for 180. Okay, they're down one star already. Yeah, you need to sprint, buddy. We need to get over here fast. Uh, maybe not that fast. That's good. Okay, we can see here now. Did we hit the leg? We did hit the leg. That's a lot of armor on that leg. Just gonna try with these. A little bit of damage, not much. Don't know if we hit the leg or not. Really hoping we could take that guy down this turn, but we'll deal. That's fine. AMS is in range now, which is really all I care about.
it's you know I, I gotta say I know I know rogue tech is slow but they've done a really good job balancing things out with different weapon types it's it feels more of a like kinetic battle it feels like you know you don't just load up with all of one kind of weapon now you need a good variety of different weapons to be able to do stuff so I'm lucky they're shooting at you and not me, man. I'm gonna go. To, I'm going down this turn. Cascatel's moving away, which is good news for us because I think he's got AMS and I think he's got um, ECM. He might be backing up because the beef went down. I don't know. That guy's Warhawk's moving back. I don't know if they're trying to flank us or what they're doing, but we got arrows incoming now. Let's hope. Let's hope. Uh, Infiltrator gets good initiative this turn. Uh oh, here's this guy moving. Pulses, eh? Summoner starting to drop an ammo or ammo and armor again. Oh, okay. So looking pretty good. So looking pretty good. Yeah, we know. He's positioning himself so we can't shoot that leg. I guess we drill through his side. Okay, next target. What's this guy got? He's got Gauss rifles. I mean, we try it. Not the exterminator. The Oro. He's only 60 tons. I might try and pull him out of the battle. Um, 28%, 37, well, there's our Huckleberry right there. Forget about the parts, guns off the field. Tags on, I think we took his arm. Did we? Oh no. Sounded like we did. Commander. Let's not get too close to that dire wolf. Moving to position. Fifty seven percent, huh? Let's hope we don't shoot our feet. Here it comes. You got it. Oh yeah. Screw you guys. He bailed. He bailed out. Oro took a bit of damage too. Nice. Okay, you got good stability. Let's get you up here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I really want that rifleman, but right now I think we need to take on what we can get. Um... Okay, we've broken through. And see you later. Oh yeah, baby. That was probably an ammo hit, most likely. Ow. Stop shooting. Oh, okay, you're shooting. A, <laughs> I thought you were shooting a infiltrator. That's okay. She's got lots of armor. Wait, who's that? That's the rifleman? I think he's overheating. <sighs> I think he's overheating, guys. Alright, who's next now? We go after the dire. I think we're gonna go after this dire wolf. He's uh, in our way. This guy's in our way. Let's hit him. Taking these off. Let's put some missiles in this guy's face. Firing on target. So we've got an excellent chance now to um, to pick up some Gauss rifles off this field. If I can p get those those uh, rotary Gausses off of that dire wolf. If we can, if we've got the way to drop two regular gosses in, one on each arm, that's what I'm gonna do. Commander. 
Walk it up. Walk it up. Flames on the way. That's fine. Affirmative. You're hot stuff anyway. And I mean that in the in the sense of she can kill really easy. All right, let's do this. Hammer this guy. He's completely unstable. Hopefully, we can knock his ass over. Beautiful. Zero hits. That's what I like to see, people. That's what I like to see. Uh, we need to move Infiltrator first. We need to do this. Um, God, it's not the best. <sighs> He's so slow. Sprinting or running gets us the same distance. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just... W or sorry, running or walking. We'll just walk over here then. Forget it. Forget about sprinting. What do we got here? 79s? 50s? These guys have got, EC uh, got ECMs. We're just going to shoot this guy. I want as many hits on him as possible. Soften him up. There's the knockdown. We're bringing that 180 damage weapon in to see if we can take this guy's head clean off. Of course, once he gets up here, we're going to drop some... I don't think Dallas will be able to get a shot at this guy, though. No, we're not going to get a shot at him. But she needs to sprint up. We need to be a little closer, so we'll get up into here. Now, do we have enough resolve to... Um, we do. I think I'm going to do this, because I can't afford to have her fall. Mad Dog Prime, 32%. I'm going to put both of these back on again. Um... What do we got here? 42. That's the Grand Summoner. Exterminator. Phoenix Hawk. I think we go after the Grand Summoner. I'm going to leave these... Well, can we... Let's wind them up. Fuck it. Let's wind it up. Uh, I bet you they jammed. Bet you they jammed. Order. Can you get a clean line of sight on that rifleman? You can't really. That's okay. On the move. And we want to do... Oops. That and that. And we want to drop it. Where are you? What's our chance? We'll take it. going to be lots of fire back there. We'll keep him nice and toasty. Hopefully he won't be firing with those racks. He's really the guy who's doing the most damage at this point. I don't know if he's got racks or if he's just got ultras on the arms. But he's doing a lot of... He seems to be doing a lot of damage so we'll keep him nice and toasty and hopefully leave him out of the battle for a bit. I could have applied it in here but I'm thinking this rifleman... Like I said, these guys aren't shooting. So I'm not worried about it. The rifleman is so we'll deal him a death blow. Well, not a death blow but wasting the Highlander by putting a lock on somebody. I bet you their chance to hit is probably pretty low because of the stealth and all the ECM that's here. The arrows don't, it doesn't really matter whether you hit, hit the guy or miss the guy. There's still lots of stability damage. Okay, so they've got Warhawk and this guy this guy's pretty much done for. Here they come. Yeah, look at that. I'm losing armor back. Oh, he's moving in. My Did you see that? Away. I'm under heavy fire. See it? He's right here. Oh, it's a Hitsukulukupulukupla. Direwolf decided not to engage. Probably the best move he could have done. Can we get, see the oh the Hetzapolkaba disappeared? Sorry guys, I can't pronounce that. I just don't have the ability to be able to do that. Eighty-four on a Grand Summoner B. 
It's a lot of missiles. Wonder if they're ATMs. We know what this guy's got. Uh, Phoenix Hawk. Highlander. G great chance to hit the Highlander. Even better than the Grand Summoner. So I think we take the Highlander. Gonna put the arrow on. And fire. Engaging target. Those look like two leg hits. Back it up. Don't need to get close. Highland is on fire. Or the sorry, the exterminator is on fire, not the Highlander. You got the missiles, you know what to do. Yeah, they were leg hits. Oh yeah. Gonna try and spread out a little more here to minimize those arrows. Wish we could see the hits the Kapulka let let's the guy, because then I could LRM them, but we can't. Warhawk's trying to make a flank on us. You got your rack up? You do, beautiful. Oh, you can't see him though. Uh you can now. Confirmed. The question is we go after you. Yeah, I think we do. I was going to say, do we go after you or take a back shot at the exterminator? Which really isn't as good. And you're going to make me cycle through everybody to get back to you. Firing everything. There goes the leg. There's the knockdown. There go oh there goes something else, probably his arm. Reporting. I think Goofy, you want to give this Warhawk a face full of ATMs? He's decided he wants to push. We could just give him a face full of ATMs. I have no idea what he's got on him, that's the problem. I don't want to move too close. Um No, I think it's going to be this guy. He's decided he wants to stay there. Look at that. Enjoy it, buddy. That's a critical hit. Sure is. Spread out a little bit. Back up. Have no doubt it will be done. I can always count on you, buddy. Ready for orders. I can always count on you. Um, we don't have Warlord on you, do we? But... We're taking it. Taking a critical hit. This whole side's pretty much gone. Let's back you up. Uh, maybe back here. Moving to position. Sorry guys, I'm trying to get spread out a little better here. I know we clumped up the last turn. That was a lot of damage we took. Really trying to spread out a little more this time. We'll put our ATM mech, or uh, AMS mech at the back. He's moving forward. The guy's got Kajonis, I'll give him that. He's got Kajonis, using ATMs on us. By. What do you think, Dallas? Can you pull this guy's other leg off? It's a lot of armor. Try it. Well, we got the kill. Down. I don't know, maybe I'll leave those on there. Those things seem pretty good. They're not jamming. Even with all that recoil. They're still not jamming. I'm really shocked. I thought for sure they would have jammed by now. Maybe I'm just reading the description wrong. That that is high, highly probable. Cause you guys know, <laughs> you guys know how uh, <laughs> attentive I am to stuff. Um, 
I'm going to put you over here. And we're going to shoot this guy. Oh, maybe not. I guess so. What's up with your chance to hit, buddy? Aye, aye. Yeah, we need to work on both the two grand summoners. Okay, he's lost, uh, lost evasive. But we don't really have anybody left. We got workhorse left, I think, and that's it. Yeah, it's just workhorse. So we might just put a, a LRM-20 spread on him. Although I think we should probably keep up with the heat on the uh, rifleman. Yeah, let's knock him over. Then we can finish him up next turn. So they're down with, they're down what? Four, seven, plus more, I don't know. We know they got the guy back here, so they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight left. Have we killed 12 already? I don't think so. There's got to be other people hidden back here. I know the Hetzikol, Coke, Boleto, whatever the hell it is, is back here. Hetzikoko something or other. I wish I was had the capability to, to speak Aztec, but I don't. So there it is. Um, how can we not see that guy from there? That still keeps everybody in our AMS range, so we're good here. I am moving forward. This guy doesn't have the best chances to hit, so I think the closer we are, the better. Let's see if we can put this guy on his ass. Nope, not enough. Not enough. Still, though, if we go before him next turn, we can probably put him down. All we need is one of the uh, LRM boats to go before him. And we'll drop his ass. They'll probably actually kill him. Dire Star, another one. I knew there had to be something else back there. Yeah, that minimized it that time. Oh, he's using Inferno now. You... I hope you stay on our sensors, because I'm... <laughs> I'm dropping everything on you next turn if we can. I really wish they had the ability to to use one, oh, he's disappeared again. The ability to use one vehicle. Oh, there's a hill right here that I can't really see because of the smoke. We've got to get out of the fire. Um, and I have to be careful about that dire star that's back over here. What can we use on this guy? Anything? Let's just pot shot him with a couple of mediums this turn. Or not. Oh, you got your full rack up, huh? Yeah, he's got his back to you. Let's show him how, how bad of a day he's about to have. Oh, I really wish that was going to be a kill, but... Sure was. Rack is still up. We're going to move over here. That Warhawk's going to come around the corner for a face full of Rack. I hope, yeah, the dire the dire wolf uh, managed to stay out of the flames, which is kind of a bonus. Stay heat neutral. I don't know who we're going to shoot. If I can get the exterminator in the back, if we can go before him. I think he just fortified himself. Commander. I want to drop this other uh, guy over here, but I don't think we can. So I think we go with the exterminator. I think we go with the exterminator. See ya. Target neutralized. Standing in the open like that is just not going to save your ass. I think if, if they're going to work on the AI, the one thing they should do is those mechs that are unstable should walk and then... 
like walk, turn, like in, try to find trees and turn to face the enemy and then, you know, fortify for their turn rather than just staying still. I'm not worried about the heat on you. Uh, we can see this guy here. Oh man. I believe the rotary goss is on. Cause screw him. Let's warlord it. Actually, we can probably put the other X pulse back on now with warlord. Oh yeah. See ya. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little overkill. Enemy eliminated. Those rotaries are still not not jamming. Time to push a bit. Oh, we're gonna be overheating. Oh well. Your ammo can't explode. I don't know why you're worried. So far, the only threat from this battle has been the uh, has been the uh, arrow mech or the arrow vehicle, that is, and this guy, the rifleman. Here he comes. Is he going to shoot though? I don't think so. I might drop some heat on him next turn. We'll see. Somebody's got to start to push this way though. We got to see that heads the compo compo what you know what I'm talking about. The heads the hex of cocoa puffs. Not the best chances to hit, but we are going to fire. Just let him know we see him. Trying to sneak up behind us, the little bastard. No way I can get that rifleman, huh? That's fine. We'll just move over here. That's a pretty good chance to hit, taking it. Engaging target. Okay, not bad. Awaiting order. That Warhawk decided not to move, but we got some some stuff for him, I think. Can we get uh that'll be all be able to see me. That's not too bad. Let's get around here. Let's give it to him. Face full of it. Here it comes. I know he hesitated last turn to uh, move forward. Uh, do we still have... Oh yeah, we got Goofy in AMS range. How far can we jump again? That's actually a pretty good jump. So it keeps everybody in AMS range. Put it over here. Make sure that's turned on. Can we shoot anything? That's the question. You know what? Let's just do this. Ah, uh, let's not and say we did. Well, they're doing a better job of tying us up. <laughs> this thing, this guy's going to get close. I want to get him closer to the uh, hex. Of, you know what I'm talking about? The hex of hex of something or mother. Hex of your mother. Hey, okay, Direwolf's decided to commit himself. That's pretty good pulse shooting. Is he going to multi-target though? Yep. Okay, not bad. He's decided to come out and fight, which is good. Oh, that's that. That's that hex. That's the uh, hex and x and x.
Okay, I gotta come come up for what's a what rhymes with hex? Plex. Uh, mex, like Tex Mex. Uh, vex. The S word. Uh, what else? Checks, like the cereal. That's the, what is this guy? That's the Cascatel. Okay, I forgot all about that guy. I know there's another Dire Star over here though. He's up here. Where's the Dire Star? It's just like in here somewhere. Here comes the arrows. Yeah, using heat again. Yeah. We've got some guys over here that feel like they need to play a game with us. You think you can play some games with these guys? Hey, you play some games with this guy right here. Okay, we can see the rifleman from here. Can we see him from where we're standing? We can. And then maybe jump out of this area. Oh, really? What is up with that? Range, maybe? I don't know. Uh, let's not get too far this way. How far can we... Oh, we got good movement here. Let's move back here. I don't know how much we're going to have to be able to shoot here. Yeah, not much. Leave the large improveds off. We'll just fire two, uh, two ER mediums at this guy. See, he's got a pair of Ultra 10s. This guy could be devastating if he closes with us. Oh, one hit. Not bad. Yes, Commander. Let's uh, finish up with the ATM on this guy. See ya. Ah, oh, we got the we killed the Gauss rifle though. Location acknowledged. Let's back up so that if he wants to come and get you, he has to move forward where we can all see him. Okay, if that rifleman, if we can't see him, he can't see us. So I'm not worried about him. This is the Warhawk back here, right? Mad Dog Prime, Phoenix Hawk, there's a Dire Star. This is the Hexacocolopolis. Yes, Commander. On my way. Hexacoco Pups. Uh, yeah, let's give it to him. Maybe we take that arm. It's probably got an Ultra 10 on it. Or we could just kill him, that works too. That was probably an ammo explosion, most likely. You know, the... It's weird. I, originally, I never had a big... Like, in the original Battletech, everybody's all LRM, knock down your opponent. I get that, right? And then Rogue Tech, it was like, ah, oh, you know, they were not really hitting all that well, and I never really used them for the longest time, but now the LRM spam is so real because the number of chances that you're going to crit your opponent and crit the ammo, right, and have them blow up, it's just, you can't not go with it, right? Like, if you look at how many, how many um, mechs our LRM boats have actually taken down, it's a fair bit. Now, granted, they have to be, like, softer targets. Um, like, they have to have taken damage already. Because there's no pinpoint damage where you get lucky and take somebody's head off, but still, it's like, I'm receiving you. you know, very they're very, very dangerous. Now, do we want to go after this, or we wait? No matter what we do, we got flames. i got to get a jump jet in this thing. Originally, when I laid it out, I had one jump jet in the CT. Uh, let's pull... Ah, we're super overheated. We can't really do much. He can't see us. We can't see him. Let's just brace. Get our heat back. Yeah, we're still overheating. Uh, 
Let's clean up this side. Hammer him. Uh, let's make sure we've got everybody in AMS range. It's really her that I'm worried about. That's actually pretty good. Let's just go here. Position confirmed. And then let's use our Hydra ammo on this guy. Actually, let's use it on... Um, let's use it on this guy. See how it does. Oh, it just kills him. That's beautiful. That's a kill. Okay, there's the Dire Star. That's the Cascatel. The Hetzacolcolopolis, Hetsa whatever, is around here. So this guy's moving so slow. Dire Star Prime. What a brilliant concept though. Like theoretically you could alter arm firing too. Let's just use five PPCs on one arm and then five on the other and alter between them. Oh, it's a black knight. I thought they had more guys back there. Keep an eye on my team commander. Yeah, they're gonna keep you shut down. We gotta find that Hexacocolopolis. There he is. There you are, you little shit burger. Engaging target. Finally. Gonna move up here, get ready to round the corner on that rifleman. We're gonna drop a Lerm 15 on this guy. That'll drop our recoil too, which really helps. Reporting. You are not gonna get to anywhere within range. But let's use the last HE on this uh, rifleman. Because we have really good chances to hit. Let's warlord this. I know he's braced, but on more thinking of the chance to hit on this guy. I don't think we got the tag though. No, you got it. You got standard ammo. What are you worried about, punk ass? All right, this is just a mop up attempt now. As long as they don't get lucky, we should be okay. In theory, rifleman's running. Um, Dire Star. That's a lot of ERPPCs. Okay. Get up here. There's the mad dog running. Cascatel, Hootsacocolopolis. Still gonna be overheating. Yeah, let's just go this route. Nice. Well, we I mean, we didn't hit him right on, but the barrage at least is going to heat him up a little bit. Good to go. Can you finish up this Hexacopolopolis, please? Good chances to hit. That should be it. Oh, no. Badass. Spoke too soon. We still got a Lerm 40 left. That might be enough to take him out. Workhorse still has to go. Who do we have left? Infiltrator, Dallas. Dallas can't really do anything. We should pro I should probably just sprint her back.
Because if she's going to shut down, she might as well do it out of direct sight of the enemy. Alright, let's give it to this guy. Something blew off. Gonna be super heated, nothing you can do about that girl. Yeah, we're watching. Yeah. I knew you were gonna shut down. I knew you were gonna shut down. Oh, the hexacle oh, wait a minute. It's not out of range, is it? It is. How can it be out of range? It's not out of range. Just thought it was. Alright, firing. Still not enough. He's got like no armor left. Critical hit, Commander. It's going to stay there. He's in good range to make sure we've got uh, AMS on everybody. Man, I still remember that battle. We lost the uh, Orion to the Dire Star. It just opened up and wrecked our Orion. I think if we're going to lose a rack Orion, it had to be to a Dire Star. It's really the only way that you can justify losing it. In a single turn, that is. Unless someone with an Ultra 20 or a tw AC 20 takes your head right off. But that was like the best, I got to say. Uh, as much as I hated losing the uh, the Orion that way, it really was just enjoyable to watch that. Alright, Black Knight's moving forward. Ah, I'm not worried about that guy. I remember when those things were the terror, man. If you encountered a Black Knight, you were you had to worry. Now it's like, no, man. Worried about the Hexacocolopolis now. <laughs> That's the guy that I'm worried about. I don't give a shit about the Black Knight. We can take him down fast enough. What do you think? You think you can get a, uh... Oh, yeah. We got flames in the way, but I don't care. Let's get in here. We're gonna do a multi-target, though. Gonna shoot at you. We're gonna shoot at you. B... and A. We're only down to half our ammo in this battle, too, which is surprising. Still going. That's nope. He's not. LRMs are gone. So is he. Alright, we know what we gotta do. Start on this nightmare. Back it up. See, PPCs, they got a they got a uh, effective range, I think it was like it's like six hundred and 10 meters or 650 meters or something like that or 600 meters the clan ERs I think I got 750 so right now he's at extreme range and unless he's got like a uh, a targeting computer that allows him to shoot at this range the chances to hit are going to be so low for him right that's the kind of mech if you load it if you got a dire star and you load it out you know, make sure you have prototype double heat sinks and stuff. Yes, you're not going to be able to fire everything without shutting down, but, you know, you set it up. Let me just kill this guy first, hopefully. Or just miss him with just about everything. It's panicking, though. Uh, you set it up, and then you put the battle computer in for the cockpit, which gives you extreme range bonus to hit, and then the targeting computer, or targeting sensors, which gives you bonus to hit at extreme ranges. And then you go to town. Uh, Sixty-three, huh? You know he's crippled. Let's just take it. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Yeah. Thought it was going to be enough. Ultra fives he had. Okay. Still though, a pair of ultra fives. On a 65 ton mech, that's a pretty good shredder mech, that's for sure, if you got it Commander. offset it with other stuff. 
What's up, Beef? Just want the better chance to hit on this. We're not going to be doing any more damage, but... What's up, Beef? Get one Chevron of Evasion there. I think it's going to be Goofy going after the objectives. He's probably the fastest and the closest. That's still pretty good chances to hit. We're taking it, firing. Engaging target. I'm staying close to the AMS. Not that it matters anymore because they don't really have anything I have to worry about. Except for this guy. But I think he had rockets, so those are used up, I think. Ah, shit, now you gotta make me rap. Okay, I can't use crap and snap. You gotta make me rap. Looks like you're moving into a trap. And I can't think of any other lines. So I'm gonna have to snap your spines. That's not going to be good for you. So. I uh, don't want to happen to. I don't want that to happen to me too. Uh, I'm. <laughs> my freestyle is so bad. Uh, my freestyle is so bad. It's. I'm sure it's making all of you sad. Uh, let's leave these off. Here it comes. See ya. Is that two beefs this guy's killed? Did he kill the other one? I can't remember if he killed the other one or not. Alright, well there goes 10 PPCs off the field. Oh... Wow, it's weird. I, I just feel this relief, like this stress relief. Ever since that arrow mech is gone, is this? I'm like, wow. I just, why am I so relaxed all of a sudden? It's like, oh yeah, there's no more arrow mech. Order. It's really the only guy that was threatening us at that at, in this match. So let's hammer him. Got it. Start stripping some of that armor. We'll move forward a little bit. What do you think? Can you see that guy? There way you can get in there? Oh, there you go. There you go, kid. It's all yours. Oh, wait a minute. Now he's all yours. We may actually come out of this battle with ammo. It's not very far. That's full sprint. Really? Sure. I know we got flames in the way, but whatever. We're going. We're going for our target. We're not going for uh, for firing anyway. But we will fire as we're going along. Stressing him out. He's like, "Stop it! You're stressing me out." This is the Mad Dog, Cascatel. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. He's still running, that guy. Oh yeah, he's got a pair of LRM-15s, I think. Waiting for water. Minefield on the way. Can we jump over it? Nope. We can jump into it though, because we're good like that. There we go, a nice direct line of sight. Don't know if it's going to count for height advantage, but it might. Oh, not bad. Fire it all. Wow, you only hit with the medium laser. Engaging target. See ya. 
Oh, I finally got a kill. Enemy mech destroyed. Isn't that beautiful? Standing by. Wow, you shut down again, huh? What does this say when my, like, my, uh, indirect fire mechs are the fastest mechs in the battlefield for me? I think we want to try and kill this guy. Copy. Something got damaged. Yeah. Now it's got to think about it, too. Oh, still going. All right. He's just deciding whether or not he wants to die. It's like, ah, I think I'll hang on for another, for another couple turns. Oh, it's oh, it's not his turn to go anyway. Receiving you. Acknowledge. All right. Cascatel. Roger that. Target's taking a critical hit. Yeah, man. Ah, uh, Mark II's unjammed un, un, un now. AMS, man. Jesus. I was going to go tear that guy up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I know my feel in the way, but what's ever. At least one of the largest hit this time. Yeah, we have to do something about that guy. Oh, I need you to fire on uh, him. I need you to fire on him. I'm on it. There he goes. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Close the distance a bit. Good to go. Close our distance. Bring some death on this guy if we can. Yeah, not bad. We are not going to get a chance to shoot at this guy. Let's stay by the AMS. Look at this. Steam coming off this mech. Ah. Uh, Dallas, I kind of feel sorry for you. We got to get you a better loadout, I think. I don't know what to do. You're still shut down? Yeah, she's outside AMS range right now. That's fine. Let's finish this guy up. Come on, Bubba. I'm not going to take the overheat on this. Not for a few lousy points. Uh, there's something else back here. Highlander 2C, I think he's stuck on the rocks over there. I think he's stuck on the rocks, if I had to guess. They're in battle. Oops, I forgot to turn on the other AMS. Warlord's up. This guy wasn't moving, so... Oof, really? Oh, man! There's some good hits. Got a critical hit. Position confirmed. I know he's not going to shoot at you, but you might as well take a point damage in each leg. Make it look like you're doing something over there. Oh, we're not going to get a chance to shoot at this guy, are we? Affirmative. Somebody's got to take on that Highlander, though. Ready for orders. Let's get your ass up here. 
You gotta get to within Highlander range for next couple turns. Need some fire support. Well, we don't have much ammo left anyway. How much has he got left in the CT here? Oh, like nothing. Let's go with a pair of... 15s? No. Pair of... Wait a minute. We got... We need a 50. There we go. But we don't really need a 50, but... Let's make sure we get them. Tango down. See ya. We're not going to get a shot in that Highlander. The rack's too close for that. Okay, Mastodon. Uh, full sprint. Oh, you got a chance to shoot him now. You got three turns of firing left too. That's nice. Yeah, I think we're. I think we got the right amount of uh, ammo and stuff now. I, I can't make it into the target zone. Really. You're not even going to give it to me, eh? Okay. I understand. Not even going to give it to me. Ah, forget it. Let's just leave these off. Standing by. Okay, get up there, please. Uh, where's our AMS Mark II? Let's make sure that's turned on. Because that guy's shooting missiles. Alright, let's fire our last little bit of... Uh, well, let's not and say we did. Well, hang on to it until we got a better chance to hit. Yes, Commander. Ready for order. Aye, aye. Alright, moving forward. We've got, what, three turns left? Ooh, Warlord, beautiful. Two turns left, sorry. Two turns of firing! firing on Infiltrator! I don't think we're ever going to get close enough to shoot that guy. But we're going to keep moving forward because we're stubborn. Commander. Okay, we got one Lerm 70 left. Let's use it up. Here it comes. Soften this guy up a little bit. We got a rack coming up, so I'm out of LRM. that's all right. You've done your job. Make sure our AMS is up here. Don't know if this guy's out of ammo or not. Well, let's just fire him. Not really going to get much better than that. Oh, five hits. That's not bad. I think you still got some Hydra left, actually. I think you got Hydra left. Roger. Full throttle. Standing by. Yeah, I think your battle's done for today. Collecting them samples. Alright, let's do a... Uh, a little bit of a warlord, get some heat back, and firing. We cannot go home without killing this last guy. Yeah. AMS FTW. We had just the right amount of ammo for this battle. All right, Mama, tear this guy up. Oh, you got your barrage back too, eh? Warlord's back. Everything's back. Three turns of firing left on this guy. Look at this. I don't think he's feeling very well. Make sure you get up here with your AMSs. Keep her under support. We got Hydra left, so let's use it. Warm him up a little more. Or, or destroy him, that works too. Tango down. I'm out of LRN. That's just fine. Because we are done. People, good work. Managing heat. The secondary acid is in hand. 
There it is, folks. So that was actually really well done, I thought. I, th I thought we did pretty well here. A lot of, that's a huge set of drop costs. We lost some C-bills on this, but hopefully the salvage makes up for it. Uh, really good experience across the board, which is nice. The night gear with the AMS. Since he was going last, he got five kills. Uh, four kills on the archer, another three on this archer. This Grand Summoner, we need to do something about it. But yeah, minor kills on everybody else. But not bad overall. I thought we did pretty well. Um, and I think the archer's kill ratio and the night gear because he was going last got a lot of kills, like basically cleanup kills. But the two archers, I thought, you know, it's mostly the number of hits versus uh, cooking off ammo, like crit hits, critting hitting ammo, which is why I think they're doing so well. All right, let's go forward here. See what we get. Gonna try and take a full mech, I think. We're doing pretty well for sea bills, but we're going to have a, like, it's going to cost us a fair bit for this one, I think. So we got Dire Star Primes, if we want ERPPCs. Dire Wolf A. Now, do we have an extra Dire Wolf part? There's a question. Highlander 2Cs, Mad Dogs, Rifleman 2C, a Dire Wolf Lone Wolf. Phoenix Hawk 2Cs, 80 tons. Oh yes, well there's the other one we wanted. Wait, yeah, we've got a clan arrow already, right? Yes. Now I don't think they had any, I'm going to go down just really quickly to check to see if there was any thumper ammo or anything, but I don't think there was. Just have to make sure. Yeah, nothing. Wait, where's that red? That's arrow. Arrow Inferno and arrow fast cam. Uh, well, it's only one ton of each though, so it's not really worth it, I don't think. Tracker sensors, SLDF. Sensor flight, remote dispensers, range finders. God, three Nova CEWSs. It just makes me want to take all three. But I think we need to take a mech. A mech for parts that we can put together and just sell. I know you guys are saying assemble and use, but oh man, battle computer heat minus ten percent weapon heat for one ton. That's not bad. Bruce call shot location, extreme range, which we don't have. Criticals, 50% criticals. I mean, we could build a battle computer mech. Grand Sum One of the Grand Summoners is already kind of that way. We could take this guy, this guy, and the extreme range. Um... But I really think we want to go and take those. Uh, oh, I gotta see if they have Gauss rifles too. Damn. Okay, what mech had a Gauss rifle on it? Laser AMS. Yeah, they got eight. They got two clan Gauss rifles. Where's the Gauss ammo down here? We could do that and take two tons of Gauss ammo. Or double. That's better. It's an extra four shots. I think I'm going to do that. That's what we were looking for. As much as I want to take the mechs, I'm going to take the hit in C bills lost, and we want to build what we have. I think I'm going to do this and see how it works. Alright, well we got an exterminator, Mad Dog Prime, Gram Summoner part. Alright, well. Some stuff that we can sell here, Inner Sphere stuff, more armor, we can sell that. Assault Jump Jets, Standard Fusion Core, Proved ATM Ammo, HE, LRM Deadfire Ammo. Okay, well. Battle control, battle computer missile. Meh. Alright, well. 
Yeah, well, I knew it was going to be a lot. So we lost, what is it, 300 and something on the drop, and then this, so 1.2 million roughly we lost. Yeah, well, we had the C-bills. I got stuff I can sell, too, so I'm not that worried about it. We'll make our financial report. So what I'm going to do, yeah, it's six days away, uh, and this is engine repairs upgrade, so we'll have another 50 tons on top of what we already have. So we had enough to drop what we had today. Uh, plus, this will give us some expansion for um, if we get another 100 ton mech in the future. Uh, I want to get what we have working really well first. So, most likely, what I'll end up doing is I'm probably going to let's go to the mech base real quick. So, between episodes, I am going to switch up the lone wolf. Um, and I am going to amalgamate these two grand summoners together, figure out what we can do with the two of these, make one out of them, sell the other one. And then the night gear, because like, then that'll give us 10 mechs. Then the night gear, uh, we're going to turn this into an arrow mech. We got the two arrows. We got the two arrow systems now. Um, we have 15 tons or 15 rounds of ammo for it for each one. So that should be interesting to see. Uh, that might end up replacing one of the archers. I don't know yet. We'll have to see how it goes. Most likely, we'll try it off in a in a four and a half skull mission just to see how it plays out. But it's going to be nice having that range. They had a bunch of mechs that were grouped up in that last uh, episode. Being able to pummel those guys with uh, arrows would be nice. So we'll try that, see how it goes. Um, but for now, we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop any comments in the comment section down below. I always love comments. Until next time, we'll see you later.